Well, if this day hasn't been dramatic enough, a battle is brewing between the mayor's office in Toronto and police headquarters. Today's admission from Rob Ford comes in light of last week's announcement from Toronto's police chief, Bill Blair. He said he was disappointed after video of the mayor, one that allegedly shows Ford using a crack pipe, was retrieved by officers. Ron Charles has a look at their war of words. When Toronto's police chief first announced the existence of the video, reporters pressed him for his opinion. Well, I think as a citizen of Toronto, I'm, I'm disappointed. This, I know this, this is a, um, a traumatic issue for the citizens of this city and for the reputation of the city, and that concerns me. That eight-second comment became the opening volley in a war of words between the chief and Team Ford. Rob Ford's brother, City Councillor Doug Ford, often speaks for the mayor, but today he said he was speaking for himself and demanded the chief step aside. We have the most political police chief I've ever seen. The police chief believes he's the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Ford had more, suggesting a conflict of interest between the chief and a civilian member of the police services board which oversees the force. He says the chief once went on a fishing trip with board member Andrew Pringle, a prominent Toronto businessman who used to work for John Tory, a sometimes politician who may challenge Ford in the next mayoral race. I would like to find out who paid for this trip. I'd like to know if there's any conversations about police issues. During that trip, I'd like to know if there's any issues discussed about the mayor. Later in the day, it was the chief's turn. I have a responsibility to uphold the law, and I can't be deterred uh, from that um, by personal attacks. And I'm not going to respond to personal attacks. Right, Mr. This battle between the city's top politician and top cop is yeah, so unprecedented, some city councillors seemed at their wit's end. There's nowhere they'll stop attacking when they attack the chief of police. I know that Bill Blair did not ask to be put in this position, but he's in there. He's doing the responsible thing. The civilian chairman of the police services board says city councillors, not even the mayor, gets to decide what happens to the chief. In practical terms, the only body that can take any action against the chief, if there was a reason to take action, is the board, not the city hall. So far, the chairman has told the mayor's brother to file his complaint with the provincial body that regulates police forces, which Doug Ford says he is doing, launching the next volley in this fight. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.